color film is also a very handy way to hide, lock, group, cut, copy, paste, and delete. All these functions can be accessed using a right-click context menu. First, I'm going to make a quick clone of this design by right-clicking and dragging. When I release the mouse, a copy of the design is created. Notice in color film, there are now six boxes shown. Each box represents a different color in the stitch sequence. The symbols in the upper left-hand corner of the boxes in color film mean that the designs are grouped. Each separate grouped object has a different color box in the corner. And if I expand this, you can see the different colors. If I right click on a color chip, the context menu has several different functions. I can open object properties for the grouped object. I can also group or ungroup, lock or unlock, hide or unhide, cut, copy, paste, duplicate, and delete are also options. So we're going to select this first design and right click and select ungroup. Notice that the grouped symbol in the corner is no longer present. Now I can select this set of leaves and change the color of just the leaves of the first design by clicking on a different color chip. Next, let's select the center of the flower and change the stitch type to a stem stitch by clicking on the stem stitch icon in the stitch toolbar. If I want to change the properties of this stitch, I can right click in color film and select object properties. Now I can change the spacing of the design to bring the stitches closer together. And I'll click OK to update the design. If I activate Show Objects at the top of the docker, the colors are now broken into separate objects. Notice how Show Objects is now gold. I can select the two top objects while holding down the control key and change them back to their original color. Before saving this design, I'm going to deactivate Show Objects to return to the colors. You'll notice that the colors are skipping around a bit here, and I can make a much more efficient stitch out by selecting all the objects with Control A. And then I will select Sequence by Color. The dialog box shows a suggested stitch order. I simply click OK, and the light colors are combined in the design.